Hello, I'm Tanya Winfield. I am from the suburban area of Chicago, Plainfield, Illinois. I am 40 years old and I have three beautiful children, two of which are adults, even though they don't sometimes act like it. One is 23 and the other is 20. And guess what? I also have a two year old that keeps me busy. <laughs> All right, so I know what you really want to know is my height and weight. <laughs> I'm 5'7 and I weigh 256 pounds. Yep, 256 pounds. As you can see, you probably can't tell, but once I let it all go and stop sucking it all in like I normally do on an everyday basis, I have a belly. I have arms and I have butt. <laughs> How did I get to this point? Well, a couple of different reasons. One, I've neglected myself. Again, I have a two-year-old. I rip and run and do things. My life is really about her. But most recently, I became the COO of a very popular restaurant in the Chicagoland area. It's called Harold's Chicken Shack. It's a 60-year tradition here. Americans love it. We serve over 10,000 customers per day in the Chicagoland area with over 35 stores. And I am the biggest fan of Harold's Chicken Shack. I spend the majority of my day, which is about 12 hours a day, Harold's focusing on Harold's. Yes, I'm the COO, so I work in the corporate office, but my favorite part of the job is going into the stores and doing site visits. I'm responsible for tasting the food, monitoring quality, monitoring consistency and service. And I probably do a little bit more than monitoring. I pretty much grub. Again, I am a huge fan of Harold's Chicken, and so are thousands of Americans out there. We serve fried chicken and fish, and I don't just eat Harold's on a daily basis. I'm also a fan of all the fast food restaurants in the Chicagoland area. One thing we know about Chicago is good food. Growing up, my grandmother was a great cook. She cooked soul food. I'm a southern girl to, to a certain degree, so I eat a lot of soul food, and that also causes a lot of my problems. I need to learn some healthier alternatives to eating, not just for me and not just for my children, but also the thousands of loyal customers we have in the Chicagoland area. Everything doesn't have to be fried. We need to start doing some things a little differently. And I want to help be the person that impacts our eating habits here in the Chicagoland area. Obesity is real. And I want to be part of the change for Chicagoans. I inspire others in so many ways. And I want to be able to show people that you can have a healthy balance. You can use some type of moderation and eat some of the foods you like, but also live a healthy lifestyle. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm taking my health seriously. A couple of months ago, a friend of mine who finally decided to take the time to get his health in order, started trying to lose weight. He was a pretty obese guy. He was a wonderful guy. As soon as he started losing the weight and started working out, he passed away from a massive heart attack. That got my wheels thinking. At his funeral and afterwards, I cried for the whole day, and I don't want to be him. He was 36 years old, never been married, never had kids or any of that, and I thought about him. I also thought about my mother. My mother died at 45 years old. Although she didn't have a food addiction, she had an addiction to something else, and I realized that my something else is sugar and fast food. And I don't wanna be that person. I wanna live through my mother and I wanna be here for my children. I wanna see my two year old grow up to get married and have kids. And if I don't stop the pattern that I'm living right now, I won't have that opportunity. Uh, but I don't wanna think of all that depressing stuff. Look, I got a whole day ahead of me. I'm gonna take you on a journey. We're gonna see some fried chicken. Um, I'm going to be transparent. Nobody gets to see this. I don't even date because of my weight. Okay. I know as fine as I am. I'm single. I don't date. Look, look at what, who wants to see all this? Not a no person. And I'm not trying to show anybody. So the biggest loser, I need help. I need a husband. <laughs>
This is my little workout partner. We usually try to walk um, at least once a day for about 20 minutes. I take her outside to the park. It's just, she's a lot more active than I can be right now because my weight holds me back. Um, so uh, I definitely need energy um, to be able to keep up with a two year old. So I really do believe in fitness and health and all that good stuff. And I actually do have a treadmill in my basement. And when I fill up to it, I come down here and I get a little workout in. So this is my idea of workout. I'm already working up a sweat. And I've been on here for 23 seconds, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, basically, I think my mom needs to go on The Biggest Loser because um, We've seen her lose weight. We've seen her go up and down and fluctuate with weight loss and gain and all that. And it's not healthy. And I feel like The Biggest Loser will help her to change her lifestyle as well as just lose the weight. Because losing the weight isn't really the issue. I think the issue is the lifestyle changes that need to happen, like diet and exercise. Uh, I basically, I do agree with that and I also feel like she should go on The Biggest Loser because she has helped a lot of people in her life and she's been that strong person for a lot of people and I feel like this is her time to really focus on herself and to yes. do what she needs to do to make herself happy and so she can, you know, live a long and happy life and be able yes. to see our little sister grow up and, you know, be an adult like we are. Yeah, I mean, she's watched us grow up. We're both grown and now it's Zaya's turn and she still has a, j a big job to do so we just need her to be here to do it and I just think about the things I have to do today and it's a long list of to-do items and I end up stopping my phone is probably somewhere ringing going off the hook there's probably a restaurant owner in distress they're looking for me they need my help Somebody spilled grease all over the floor. The news station is trying to get in touch with me to do an interview. Get back. Oh, get. Say it. The little one. The little one is waiting on me as well. So, as always, there's no time for mommy. So, mommy has to stop her workout. But I did work up a sweat, to be quite honest. Um, I know it's more in me, but this is all I got for now. That's my workout. Two minutes, walk the neighborhood with the baby girl, and that about does it for me. All right, breakfast, who has time for breakfast? I'm the CEO of a company. I gotta get out of these clothes. Our breakfast will be at Starbucks today. All right. Today's agenda, site visits. Let's go. All right, off to get breakfast. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Jessica. Can I get started for you today? Hi, I'll take a grande ice caramel macchiato with no ice. Grande ice caramel macchiato with no ice. And what else can I get for you today? Um, that needs to be decaf with non-fat milk and you want that decaf with non-fat milk and what else can i get for you today uh, this is the same order um upside down with an extra pump of vanilla syrup and you want that upside down with an extra pump of vanilla syrup that's correct absolutely anything else i can get for you today nope can you just repeat it to me please sure they got a grande ice cream macchiato, no ice, decaf, non-fat, upside down, and five pumps of vanilla. Yes, wonderful. All right, anything else I got for you today? No, thanks. No problem, 461 for you, thank you. All right, I gotta have it that way. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. This is so good. Breakfast in a cup, this is how I start my morning, every morning. 
So today is Saturday and one of my responsibilities as the COO for Harold's Chicken Shack is to do visits at the store locations and we have over 35 stores in the Chicagoland area. Today I'm going to one of the newest locations in Beverly off 95th and Western and we're about to go in and take a look at the quality, the service, and see what we need to do differently so that that store grows properly. So as you can imagine, um, this is a passion for me, of being the COO of a franchise, a restaurant franchise, but it's also part of my many problems. Um, we serve fried chicken and fish to the Chicagoland area and I'm also part of that Chicagoland area. Um, I eat Harold's Chicken Shack, to be quite honest, probably every day. And I also feed it to my children every day. I enjoy the food. The food is very delicious and it's convenient for me. Okay, we are here at um, our location that we're going to visit today. Uh, Harold's Chicken Shack in Beverly. I'm getting prepared to do a site visit. I have to put on my Harold Chicken Chat corporate sweater. And this is actually one of our corporate locations. Um, our CEO, Kristen Pierce, is actually here with us today. So it'll be wonderful to meet her. And she's also my big sister. Love to death, my best friend, my partner at crime, all of the above. I ain't a partner at crime. <laughs> this is okay. Kristen Pierce. Hi. And she's the CEO of the company. I don't want you to laugh at me. Promise you're not going to laugh. Okay, I'm not going to laugh. I want to tell you something. What? I'm auditioning to be on The Biggest Loser. I finally made a decision that I need help with my weight. Okay. And you have been very supportive of me and you're one of the first people I'm letting know what's going on. What do you think about that? I mean, I don't find it to be funny. I mean, I support you 100%. I mean, if that's something that you think you need to do, I'm behind you. I mean, do you think this is going to keep you focused? Yes, I think this will definitely keep me focused. To have millions of Americans watching me and my journey and standing up there with my stomach out and all that, my rolls on my back and all that, I think that that will make me, push me to want to do something. Mm -hmm. And we're both older mothers, you know, you had your child at an older age and so mm -hmm. did I. And we always talk about making sure we're here for our babies. Um, and you're already on your way to great fitness. You've been a wonderful role model to me when it comes to fitness. And I just need that time away to focus on me mm -hmm. so that I can be here for my child as well. I have seen the transformation and they have transformed people's lives based on the commitment to work out and mm -hmm. to eat properly. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be away for like four or five months. Okay. So it'll be the first time in my life I can completely focus on me and my help. So this is our famous Harold's Chicken Shack fried chicken. Um, been around for 60 years. I'm actually about to drop myself some, which is my normal routine when I come into the stores. I drop myself a piece of chicken so that I can take the quality of the food to make sure we're consistently giving out a good product. so good. Best chicken in, in the country, I'm telling you. One of the things that make our chicken so good and so popular is the sauce. This, this, this sauce is so delicious. You can't have the Harold's without the sauce. You know what the bottom line is? I need an intervention for weight loss and healthier eating. I can't keep eating like this. I'm 40 years old and I have a two-year-old. I need to be here for her. Words that I live by. Don't just believe, achieve. 
All right, we're done with our site inspection for the first location. We're on to the next one. Of course, I had to bring a bucket of chicken home for the family. I know how to take care of myself. My problem is that I'm not selfless enough. I'm not selfish enough with myself. When you have a two-year-old, when you go from having adult children to a two-year-old, your whole mindset has to change. It's not about you anymore. It's not about you, know, you anymore. It's not, my kid is grown. They can take care of themselves. They don't need me around. Every little thing I do now, I have to focus on my two-year-old. I have to make sure she gets where she needs to be. I have to make sure, you know, her doctor's appointments, her school, her education, my attention has to be given to her. It's it's a totally different beast. It's like I'm learning to be a, a, a mother all over again. And I already have two adult children, but it's like I'm learning to be a mother all over again. The beauty in it is that she has grounded me. She has turned me into a family person. She's humbled me. It's not uh, all about my career and being, you know, uh, a person that travels all over the world and a person that achieves all these acc accolades in the corporate workplace. Now it's more about me making a, a, a living for myself and for her. And for the first time in my life, I'm a single mother. I was married. Um, to my childhood sweetheart, we were married. We were together for 16 years, so or actually 20 years. So this is different for me. I don't have it where I can tell my husband to go pick up the baby from school, and while I go home and cook dinner, I don't. I don't have that that type of support within my home. It all falls on me. So yeah, there are times I have to go from the office to a store to picking up the baby and it's going to result in fast food a lot of the time and how convenient is it that I'm the CEO of a restaurant franchise I can bring the food right home with me I mean that's a matter of convenience am I doing the right thing health wise absolutely not and that's something that I need to change when I look at my baby girl and she's and I say to her what do you want to eat she doesn't say to me vegetables she doesn't say to me fruit she says chicken and she's two she knows what Harold's chicken is she asks for Harold's chicken and I'm setting a terrible example for her because that's what she wants she wants fried food all the time she sees the McDonald arches she expects me to stop when I walk in the door she expects me to have a bucket of chicken and that's just that's not a that's not a good example and and to be quite honest, it's something I'm ashamed of. It's, it's something I don't even want people to know that I have this type of lifestyle within my home because they expect so much more of me. And I know better. And I should expect so much more of myself. So I just need, I need help. I need to do the right thing. I need to teach not only myself proper eating habits, but also my child. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. It's been a long day. Sweet stuff like this gets me through the rest of the day. I need some type of sugar, or some type of energy to be able to deal with an active two-year-old. This is delicious. This will definitely help me through the rest of the day. I eat a lot of cinnamon rolls, um, a lot of sweets, a lot of candy, uh, a lot of ice cream and it just gives me energy so that i can run around with with her for the rest of the day so this is my diet mm.